our trip to Malchesene. This is our location. We were in Vicenza and we drove one hour and 47 minutes to get to Malchesene. It is a small town on the eastern shore of Lake Garda in northern Italy. It's a very beautiful tourist place with cobble lanes and there is a castle. So this is drive we took to get to there. We had to pass through really small little towns and they're all by the shore of the lake. There is a lot of mountain ridge behind and that's Monte Valdo. In the summer months, Malchesinet is a very beautiful place packed with pottery, stores and people eating gelato everywhere. Um, there's sun seekers and uh, of course there's people who also will be looking for a little bit of sun and they will go down to the shore. There is also a ferry that connects to the lakes of the other parts of the lake so you can sight see and there's a cable car running up to Monte Baldo and it's, you know, it's a magnet for cyclists, walkers and everyone who is in riding in bicycles and scooters. It is a paradise for everyone who likes this kind of sport. Lake Garda is the largest lake in Italy and Malcesine lies towards the narrow and the mountains northern end. Often compared to many other lakes, but this one is amazing. You have to experience it. And I will show you guys more in this video later on. Just to let you guys know a little bit on how was our drive and you guys can appreciate a little bit more of the town when we get there. Okay, so we arrived at the town of what is the name of the town? Messin Mess Messinine. I'm so bad saying this. You wanna do it for me? Yeah, better Italian ask. Me. What's the name? Ask her. <laughs> you are. About to eat some lunch. Another shagger. 
Yeah, I got what you got. I got pizza. Okay, I'll change the camera. Hey, Jagger. Jagger. Hello. Made in Naples, Italy. Amazing! And the first time it was made in um in the US, it was made in New York. US. I want. How's that better now? Run, run, run. Oh, that's so cool. Visiting Malsesine. There are four principal tourist activities for visitors to Malsesine. Wander the town's lanes, catch the boat to Riva, Limone, or other lake resorts. Take the cable car up to the heights of Monte Baldo, eat gelato. The town is a lovely place to stroll for an hour or so. With picturesque medieval lanes winding up the slope from the lake, there are pretty little squares, coffee shops and restaurants, gelaterias, and shops. They sell all kinds of stuff, handbags, shoes, limoncello, and clothes. The main harbor is typical of Lake Garda, small, attractive, filled with boats and lined with cafes. A short distance away is the old port, the Port Bescio, a quiet spot with good lake views, curious sculptors, and more restaurants. Yes. 
Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> Guys, so we made it to the castle. We got the ticket and we are ready to go. Who's ready? We are ready to see this castle. Yes. Well, Chessiness most striking features as you approach over Lake Garda is this historic castle, the Castello Scalero, which is also the town's main tourist attraction. The building lakes is named from the Della Scale family, who owned it and made alterations in the 13th and 14th centuries. The castle was being used, restored, and adapted for military purposes up until the 19th century. Nowadays, as well as being a tourist site, the castle is also a wedding venue. So if you want to get married in Malsesine, you are welcome to do it in the castle. And we will see that when you see the little section that they have up there. Once you go up the stairs, you can see that they have a little setup for you to get married in there. The Battleman Fortress is open to the public as a museum called the Museo Castello. It takes a surprising amount of time to explore, truly. It took us around an hour or so to explore the whole castle. The smartest of this is a natural history museum with well-designed displays which should interest both adults and children. My children were actually pretty interested in the museum. The exhibition also has both history and so on. There are great views from the ramparts and the chance to climb up the tower and gaze down the Mosesines huddle rooftops. However, because of COVID-19, the part where you actually go all the way up to the castle was closed. The castle is open every day with conveniently long opening hours, apart from winter months when it closes at 4 p.m. They take credit cards so you are able to pay with a card. The second most important building in Malsesine is the 15th century Palacio de Capitani, close to the harbor. This was the headquarters of the Venetian rulers of the area. At any given moment, the majority of tourists in Malsesine seem to be seated and consuming food or drink. The little part of lines with cafes offering a wide range of hot or alcoholic drinks, freshly squid fruit juice, and tempting ice cream, very tempting ice cream. These are lovely afternoons, places to relax. For more evening drinks, and if you're willing to um, square a little bit of time and be more social, the Piazza Turaza, Piazza Carbor, and Piazza Pittori Emanuel each of which is tiny but contains a choice of places to sit, eat, and drink. A few of these bars and restaurants in town put on cheesy live music in the tourist session. You can find a lot of good music and places to sit and relax while sipping a glass of good wine. The historic center of Malsesine is compact and made up of narrow lanes and old buildings. Consequently, many hotels are located in more spacious surroundings outside the center. When you are choosing a hotel, check its locals and read past guest comments. Some pleasant lake-sized hotels are lovely for lounging and lounge, admiring views and swimming, but are quite a long walk from restaurants and ferries. So consider all that and more before visiting. I hope you find this video informative, hope we have answered many of your questions. The prices for the castle were also in the video, so if you were able to check it out. If you have any more questions about our visit to Malsosine, we are on Instagram at Suzulin. I will try to post more videos about other parts of Italy that we will be visiting, so please subscribe.
look at this. Take our picture. Very um, careful of this, okay? Oh, and, and just let you know, no I was jump. looking to find a place for you to take a picture, and I think I found the place for you here. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Right here. We get a lot of and we get some of the tower and some from over there. Wow. And you got a lot of mountains and water. Beautiful hands. So background. Mm -hmm. You like this place? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. They have a rope. So you can go from one side to the other side. So and you can go from one side to the other side. Oh, that's a tightrope. That's where you stand on it. You stand you on it? You walk on it. Uh -uh. You walk on it. It's a tightrope. And then when you fall, you fall.
Your gun's falling in the water. <laughs> Maybe you can get a rock for free. That's a dragon. That's a long time. You happy with your new rocks? See? And you got them what? For how much they cost you? Zero bucks. <coughs> Great. Let me see your rocks, Fiji. Was it water quality dagger? Wow. Oh, yeah, it's definitely cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right. Look at the I tried. We jagged. I tried to get that one. Look. 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 Sign for gelato. Sign for gelato, boys. Maybe for me. You want gelato, Ma? I want a drink. A cold drink. Gelato's cold. Yeah. 